guys, what's up? Welcome to today's vlog. I have not picked up the camera and vlogged or filmed or done anything relevant to social media in such a long time. I don't even think that I uploaded the Christmas vlog. Life has just been so hectic and I was planning to jump right on into things in the beginning of the year but life just kicked me in the butt. Adelina had a cardiology appointment. She's hanging out back here um, and we're sick so like literally so much has been going on. Adelina had a cardiology appointment at the beginning of the year and I guess I just was not prepared to hear that she's gonna probably be needing a procedure sooner rather than later and that's just a whole story in its own and a lot that we've been dealing with makeup all over her face too because she got into my mascara yeah so it's it's been crazy um we still have not heard back from a specialist so I don't know when her procedure will be or what type of heart procedure that will be that's just a lot and having to deal with yes we could go to the living room um we could go to the living room because i have lots of things to show our friends because we got you lots of new clothes okay so we're in the living room now but like i said literally so much stuff has been going on for a second for a split second i was in my feelings and was sad and woe is me in all the things and oof, i really spent a lot of time with the lord this past month or so it is today is february 10th and i am barely picking up the camera and i know i didn't even edit the christmas the christmas vlog so it's been a minute since i've um filmed or done anything I was just crushed and in my feelings and all the things and I was super duper hesitant to pray about the issue and it's weird to even say this out loud because uh, I don't know how to explain it I didn't want it to be like a selfish prayer like make it about me like I don't want to go through this so please God take this away so I don't have to go through this I wanted it to be like take this away so she doesn't have to endure this and obviously so I don't have to endure this like I don't know it's just a lot and it's a lot to know like the reason why she has a heart condition is because of you so it's very very hard to not blame yourself so um yeah i just kind of i just kind of took some time for myself like i said i spent a lot of time with the lord still spending a lot of time with the lord like i started um in the beginning of the year i started the whole bible in a year app which i've done before like reading the bible throughout the year but it's different this time around because I actually know a lot more than I did, you know, before or even as a kid. I've always been involved in church and things like that. This is something I haven't actually, like, spoken about on YouTube or anything, really. Like, I kind of just don't talk about it. Really have been pushed to just share my testimony. I'm not going to do that today. Not going to do that right now. That will be a whole separate video on its own but um i felt like i needed to explain to you guys didn't need to explain but needed to explain why i you know didn't pick up a camera and vlog in a minute so it's been a lot um yeah lena's probably gonna have to have a heart procedure this year and i might too depending on my battery life and things so you know it's a lot to think about but we are giving it to God and we are going to leave it in the Lord's hands and he knows what's best for her, what's best for us and he's going to keep her safe and I have to trust in that. So yeah, um, but I do have a lot of things to share with you guys. So we just recently went shopping. I have a bunch of things to share with you guys. Um, she is kind of not in between sizes she jumped a size and i just was not expecting that so quickly um so she did get some clothes from my mom for christmas thank goodness because she definitely needed pants i still have to go through her drawers and all of those things and i'm just one thing at a time one thing at a time 
find any of the links to any of the things I show you guys, I'll go ahead and leave it in the description box down below. I'll go ahead and start off with the Target bag. We have Target and Old Navy here. I think there's like some random things too. And this bag is actually not from Target. It's from Five Below, but it was one of those things that reminded me and Carlos of our childhood. So we were like, we're just going to get it for her. So we got her this little Spongebob shirt. It's so stinking cute. Everything else in this bag here is from Target. I'm sure so this one says here for dad's hugs. And she is currently in a 3T now. She actually picked out herself and it was in the little boy section. But it's still so stinking cute. It's a little dinosaur playing baseball. And it has like little flowers. So... I like the colors though. I also picked out some little pajamas. These were like a little four pack, but they're just like little bumblebees. So stinking cute. And then these ones come with the little shorts. So god. This is the other one that came in the set. Super pretty, like little florally. And then this one has the actual pants. So got her a pair of just gray leggings. I love the leggings from Target. I mean I I feel like if you have kids, you know that the leggings from Target are pretty decent. Not have any black when I was there, not in her size anyways, so um, I just grabbed the gray ones. They did, however, have biker shorts, which I'm so glad that I got there in time because I love the ones from Target. They fit the best. They're so cute. They're inexpensive. So I got her three pairs of biker shorts. I got her a little gray pair two black pears i picked up this little bob marley t-shirt this is in a 4t i believe this is a little bit big but they didn't have her size but i just decided to go up anyways i might as well get it while it's there because if you don't you already know it's going to be gone got her these little, little pants they're just like a little ribbon knit floral print and then they have the little cute little design on the bottom this is a set her dad picked this one out this is also in a 4t so it's a little bit big right now but this pretty little sage green jogger set little bottoms and then it has the top and then it just has little buttons little hood and oh yeah it has little pockets too Super cute. I think this one's adorable because it's definitely gender neutral, but I love this color green. And I think it'll be perfect for springtime, which is right around the corner. And then the last thing that we have from Target that I have to show you guys was actually on clearance, but it's one of those that I feel like the colors can still kind of work. Um, this was only $11, and it's so cute. It's a little... Let me move this out the way. Little overall set. I love the little print of the shirt too. Super cute. And then the color is awesome. It has like the little adjustable on the back and the bottom. Alright, so the last things I have to show you guys for this little mini haul is from Old Navy. I'm pretty sure everything in here is from Old Navy. There's like a couple of t-shirts and pajamas. So the first t-shirt is literally the cutest thing but look how cute it says pedal to the metal and it's just perfect perfect pastel colors love it wish they had it in my size and then we also picked up this cute shirt it says focus on the good cute butterflies little flowers perfect color and then we have some pajamas little unicorns all over and the pajamas we got her in 4t just because i like having the pajamas a little bit bigger for some reason i feel like they grow out of pajamas faster than everything else i don't know if that's just my kid but in my experience that's what it's been carlos picked it out it says so exhausted has little eggs on it eggs all over the little bottoms and this next one i have a story for you guys because not i i think i told you in the beginning of the vlog that adelina is sick has a little cold let's rewind to last week okay so last week monday she had her normal checkup at the doctor for being two and a half years old she was due for vaccinations 
which is a whole subject on its own. I wasn't for it. The doctor basically made us feel like she needed to get the vaccination. She already has a heart condition. We are putting her at a disadvantage. And I felt like a horrible parent. So whatever. Anyways, long story short, she ended up getting the vaccinations. I cried because that's something I prayed about and I just felt like she doesn't need it. I understand she has a heart condition. I get it. But that flu shot I react badly to people in my family react badly to I did not want her to have that long story short we were back at that doctor's office later on in the week because not only did Adelina get a rash the very next day after having her vaccinations she had a runny nose a cough a fever like that lasted all through the night it was ridiculous she got tested for the flu was positive and We've just been dealing with it. I'm finally feeling better too, so that was a long process. Oh, and then, so she went to the doctor, regular doctor twice that week. Not only that, she got this like little slide thing from Christmas that was chilling in the living room. She ended up falling off of that and hitting her head. Well, she was throwing up, throwing up after, like crying and throwing up and did not stop. And we were freaked out because she hit her head. We didn't know if she had a concussion. We ended up taking her to the ER. She was fine, but we ended up taking her to the ER. So it was just three doctor's trips in one, which comes to <laughs> the last thing in the hall. She picked out these little doctor pajamas at Old Navy, which are super cute. So I'm kind of glad that she's getting over her little fear of doctors and medical things, especially because... We have a lot going on right now, but that's the haul. So it's a little bit later and I wanted to show you guys the new Bible I got and some of these highlighters. So this is what my Bible looks like. I think it's so beautiful, you guys. Like, oh, it's like just gorgeous. I can't. Um, I have not gotten a new Bible since like early high school, junior high. Um, and my other one was like one of those flexible material. Anyways, the cover ripped and I really needed to get a new one. Um, I also picked up these highlighters, which are in like an assortment of colors. They are dual ended. They're supposed to be like the ones that don't bleed on your Bible. I don't know. Some of them seem darker than they look. We'll have to see. I might have to order a new pack. But anyways, I'll leave both of these guys linked down below. I got them both off of Amazon. Like, not together, but separately. Anyways, let me show you guys this. It's so gorgeous. Look at, like, the best part. Like, the detail. So gorgeous. I love how it just... It has the columns for you to add notes. It's just... It is gorgeous. It has places for you to color if you'd like and just memory verses. It's just, I can't, I can't. I'm just super, super, super happy with this and I cannot wait to just start using also, it. It has like this pocket in the back and it came with the Bible tabs for the actual like different books of the Bible and then it came with some little sticker s stickers that you can go ahead and color on in so I thought that was so adorable Lena babe this this is for mommy this is mommy's new Bible no 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 they're for they're for the Bible though they're they're mommy's Bible stickers see see they're mommy's we'll get to your own okay hold on Good morning guys. Today is a beautiful sunny day. Saturdays are pretty low-key. We just hang out at home, which is really really nice and just get to do what we always do. It is like noon and we have not done much as you can tell. Um, but I kind of like that with it kind of like being the Sabbath day and everything. I know a lot of people celebrate their Sabbath day on Sunday, which is 
I guess pretty traditional but if you guys didn't know the Sabbath day actually got changed from Saturday to Sunday in like year 321 or something like that hold on let me let me google it so you think that I'm not like speaking out of my butt but let me let me get facts for you so that way you guys don't think that I am talking out of my butt it says on March 7th 321 however Roman Emperor Constantine the first issued a civil decree making Sunday a day of rest from labor, stating all judges and city people and all the craftsmen shall rest upon the venerable day of the sun, of the sun. So, just for us, it's easier to celebrate the Sabbath and rest on Saturday. I kind of like that. I feel like it's kind of like honoring old traditions. Easier for us just because we're already here and the way things work out. I am still looking for a home church. I had one that was really, really awesome, full of people that were like our age and stuff. And it was just really nice because the people there were just, they were just amazing. Um, I've been thinking about going back to a home church that I grew up in, which is not far from my house. But I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm kind of indifferent, and not about indifferent about going back to church. It's just I kind of read up on scripture, and the church I used to go to does a lot of like speaking in tongues, and not against anybody if you do any of that. But from my impression of what the scripture says it just seems like it's speaking in another language and not like a heavenly language so I know they like to lay hands and stuff and I appreciate that I'm all for prayer but I just don't want it to not be from God or to God or of God and if you guys have not seen that documentary it's called American Gospel I think there's a couple of different ones if you guys are interested in that stuff i highly recommend it if i can find the link i'll leave it down below i know that when i watched it i had to pay for it on youtube like three dollars or something but it changed my perspective on a lot of things it has scripture really really amazing and that definitely helped spark a lot of things i watched i watched those a while ago but um i'll definitely try and find the link so i can leave it down in the description box for you guys um i just got some books in the mail so let me go grab that package so we can open it target was having such a good sale they were all the books online were 50 percent off and then it was buy one get one 50 percent off and i had points so literally these four books which ones did I get? I got Ugly Love. They're all Colleen Hoover books. I got Ugly Love, All Your Perfects. This one is Heart Bones. And the other one, I want to say it's called Regretting You or something. But I got all of these for $11, and I'm so stoked. Um, I have one of her other books. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but it's super, super good. Pinwheel. Pinwheel, you're right. Ooh, they feel pretty because they're all brand new. Here you go. Oh, brand new. Brand new. Oh. Brand new books are awesome. Oh. It's pretty brand new books. Adelita's wearing her little doctor pajamas. Are you gonna be a little bookworm like mommy? Book. Yeah. It says ugly love. Look. I can't love. <laughs> I can't love, yeah. You want to see what it looks like in those glasses? Sure. It, it might look. Tell me if it is. What's it supposed to look like? On the side. If you look on the side, you can see behind. Oh, okay, look. wait. Oh, you actually can. I can see the plant. Oh, I can see my, the camera, but I can see the plant <laughs> from the back. On That's, the other one? And the lens and my finger. Do you want to see yourself? Here you go. Do you have anything to tell your people? Are you feeling better? Are you feeling better? Are you still feeling yucky? Hey guys, so it is now much, much later in the day. We already had dinner.
we went to the store. I got a couple things that I have to show you guys. I look like so tired right now, which I definitely am. But it's been a chill day. We haven't done we haven't done anything. But let me show you some of the things that we got at Alina at Walmart. She got a couple of cute new pieces of clothing, which is just adding to the haul that I showed you guys earlier, which she needed clothes, so it's fine. But I just laid everything out. But this is everything that we got for her. She got three pairs of pants and four shirts. She also got some socks, which she desperately needed. I couldn't find any, like, little crew socks. Got her these little... Socks from Wonder Nation. She's I, finding socks for her is so hard. I don't know why, but they just have some cute little prints. I wish they were like crew socks, like I said, and not the little ankle socks. So hopefully these are okay for her. But I got her a couple of pairs of pants. Everything I think is from the Gur Animals brand, which I really love that brand from Walmart. Um, got her some pants. Everything's in 3T. These ones are so cute. They have that little lettuce trim at the end, and then they are ribbed too. So stinking cute, but I got her a peach color, a white, and then this sage green. Super pretty, and then these were all... They were only $4.98. If I can find any of these guys, I'll go ahead and try and link them down below for you as well. We got her this pretty brown... One with little butterflies, and I try to get it so that way everything can kind of match together. One Adelina picked out, so cute, has a little butterfly, says little dreamer. Um, the shirts were pretty inexpensive too, so $4.98 for this one. The little ribbed ones were $5.98. This one is also a little rib one, but I just thought it was like super cute. Love the retro vibe. We definitely love that. And then this one is the only long sleeve. And it was on sale on the clearance section. But the colors are still really, really pretty. And where we live, it's kind of cold. So, yeah. Anyways, that is our little mini Walmart haul.